Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Bars and Barbells, your favorite reaction channel. My name is Philip. This is your first time on the channel. This is my co-host. Hi guys, I'm Sam. I was Love hoping it. she was going to say her name. <laughs> and uh, so we've got Sting today. First time Sting is going to be on the channel. And uh, I'm excited to check this one out because Sting, I've heard the name a lot. I, you know, I've you know, recognized that people have discussed him and he has the historical uh, you know, figure in, of music aspect. But I think he's also was an actor too. So yeah. he's in the entertainment well world, known. very well known. Yeah. And you guys are probably like, yes, we know Phil. And that's why we're here. <laughs> yes. And we don't know this though. No. And we just found out how many Grammy nominations does he have? 17. 17 Grammy nominations. That's crazy. I can't believe I've never like taken in any of his stuff and this guy has 17 Grammy nominations yeah. along with a bunch of other awards. So you think it was like an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award. Yeah, there's a bunch of them A bunch of like a, I think he's inducted in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, he has... Um... You know, like one of those little squares. Hollywood star yeah. thing. <laughs> star thing, you know, when they have the squares on the ground yeah. with his name on it. Yeah, culturally, we're lacking yeah. in that department. Sorry. I've, I've been there. I just can't remember what it's called. <laughs> um, and also, didn't know, like I heard the name The Police, or I don't know if it's The Police or Police, the yeah. band. Yes. And yeah. He's part of that. He right? was. Yeah. And but that was before he took his solo career off, right? And Yeah. Uh, his solo career took off, I should say, and I had no idea about that. So I didn't know. I've heard of the police and or police, and I've heard of Sting, but I didn't know that they were together. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, I've definitely heard the name too. But I mean, it's hard to say because you know, I I don't know any of his music off the top of my head. But there might be something that was just so popular that you've heard that you didn't know was him. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, well, and you were just saying uh, your mom. I had mentioned to yeah, you. Yeah, well, my mom was like, well, when we talked about the reaction channel, she's like, did you do this yet? Did you do this? Did you do this? Yeah. So I think I think this was one of them that she asked, but I can't remember. But yeah. yeah. So now we're getting to it. And yeah. uh, we don't know anything about Sting, so you can always leave those comments below. That's what we learned. And how we've learned through this process of the reaction channel has been you guys. Yes. So this is your channel Thanks, as guys. much as it is ours. But uh, that's what we learned. So drop us details about Sting. There's a few of you uh, on there that always come through and support us. Dagmar, shout out to you. Always drop a comment telling us which songs are going to be great or what they're known for. So thank you. We appreciate yeah. that. And uh, so tell us about Sting. Um, you know, this is a first time listen for the both of us. Shape of my heart. Haven't heard this one before, I don't think. But uh, I'm excited to check it out. You ready to go? I am ready. All right, let's go. All right, so <laughs> that was quick. I recognize uh, recognize this one not for Sting, but it's it was sampled by Nas. Uh, okay, on, well, that makes a lot of sense. I can't remember what album. I think it's the song is the message, uh, and I think it might have been sampled a couple other times in the hip hop world. So. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know, the first time on the channel, we are we've yes. grown up predominantly on hip hop, so that's what I'm gonna obviously relate to. But that's the I, as soon as that came in and, and I recognized the melody there, I was like, wait a minute, wait a second, yeah, where what what is this? <laughs> and and that's really cool because it's a I love that I love that uh, the way they put that together. So I had no idea it originated from Sting. I believe cool. it originated from him, but um, that's very very cool. Anyways, Thank sorry you. to interrupt, but that, that was that was the first thing I was like, "What is this? I know this." He deals with cards as a meditation, and those he plays never suspect. He doesn't play for the money. Don't play for respect. He deals a cause to find the answer. The sacred geometry of chance. The hidden law of a probable outcome. And 
numbers need a dance I know that the spades are the swords of a soldier I know that the clubs are weapons of war I know that diamonds need money for this art But that's not the shape of my heart may play the jack of diamonds He may lay the queen of space He may conceal a king in his hand While a memory of it fades I know that the spades are the swords of a soldier I know that the clubs are weapons of war I know that diamonds mean money for this art But that's not the shape of my heart That's not the shape on Sting, Shaping My Heart. I thought that was cool. Like, there was a lot of different unique sounds in that, like instrumentation-wise. Like Obviously, you saw that there was a keyboard and some guitars and stuff, but I feel like I was hearing other things that I don't know if they were maybe doing with the keyboard, changing it up yeah. or stuff like that, but it sounded really cool. I also really liked the like his vocal was great, but I thought it sounded very nice with the backup vocal as well. That kind of stood up to me a little bit. Yeah, the, ba- the, the harmonies were great. Yeah. Um, the harmonics that you were referring to were great. Yeah. Um, the I feel like they use a really they did a great job at using like spacing between the instruments mm-hmm. to give it this uh, a lot of depth in the sound because yeah. it it gave this like transcendent feel yeah and, it did for and, sure and really kind of you know I got like chills in some parts because yeah. it was just like really getting like a soulful feel that really made you feel the music itself yeah well i feel like he was obviously doing a very good job with his like storytelling like the song right he's like telling the story about this this gambler or this guy yeah. who's playing a game or whatever but i felt like the music was also telling that story like the, it wasn't just like you know the, the, his vocals there he's telling the story and the music was just there it was like you said like i feel like it was almost bringing this like soulful storytelling with the instrumentation well, as well. well yeah well one of the things i found interesting though was that i didn't feel like the song itself with the lyrics were saying anything too deep you know like I think the idea was like you said about a gambler and that like trying to identify you know 
different a different approach to gambling basically yeah. but it still resembled gambling unless there was like a double entendre in this and that <laughs> gambling meant something else like, with, for life. <laughs> with the shape of my heart like yeah. meaning that he was referring to maybe like a love song or something like that yeah. at the same time but if so maybe there is more depth to it and i of the first listen i'm not catching it but on the surface it seems like he's just presenting this idea of gambling but then the music it feels like it's this deep emotional connection that yeah. it's providing to you. Yeah. So I don't know if that's maybe a, you know, part of Sting's catalog and what he's great at doing, uh, but I think part of that was the spacing that I mentioned in the music. And as you alluded to, so much different instrumentation, creating this this uh, you know, you know, orchestra kind of feel, symphony mm -hmm. feel. Uh, yeah. And his vocal, you know, we didn't even touch on that. It's great, beautiful vocal. Yeah, um, I thought he sounded great. Yeah, I, I, you know, I like I said, don't know anything about Sting, but yeah, found his really vocal was really, you. really impressive, um, and I just like the vibe of the song because it wasn't anything that I would easily categorize. You know, it had this, as we mentioned, like Nas rise? has, pardon, you mean like genre rise. Yeah, in terms of what you could classify it in, um, because I, we mentioned Nas, right? And so for me, like I have this like hip hop feel to it, yeah, um, which has been sampled by hip hop artists, I think, a couple of times, because it has this soul feel to it. I feel like with the melody, but at the same time, you know, the overall totality of it and the composition is like fused. I feel like it's fused a lot of different aspects together. So yeah, um, but I think I. I feel like I've heard even Sting does reggae or something like that. Before. Oh, cool! That'd I be... think I've heard that before that he's, so he's like a lot crossed of over. Vibes yeah, but I, you guys. Cool. Yeah, you guys can let yeah. us know. Uh, I'm I'm just going out and, and on a whim here. So <laughs> I really enjoyed that sixth song though. I, yeah, I, I, that was great, cool. Great Very song. Different. Uh, like I said, a great way of really you know tweaking your emotions without a deep deep message song. I feel like anyways could be wrong though. So you can let us know what this song is all about. You can let us know about Sting. And, uh, you know, any comments you want to leave, we always appreciate. So yes, let us know hit us below. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe and come along on the journey that we're on, we always are welcome to have welcoming you to come alongside us. That's it from us today. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.